Welcome to our lesson for today. We are looking at systems technology and we are going to look at how one can make choices using software. Now, it is difficult obviously to make choices about software, which software you want to use and for which purposes. Now, let's start by looking at web-based as well as installed applications. Now, your web-based applications are applications that are accessed online. These applications are stored on a remote server and the user will access this application via their connection of the internet. Some examples can be your Microsoft Office 365, Google uh, Docs, and some other more. And then your installed applications are applications where one has to buy the license for the software and then install it on their computer. Now this software can be downloaded or it can be from a CD or a DVD. Now an example is your Office 2010 and some other applications that you can think of whenever you want to buy an application. Now let's explore these web-based and installed applications by comparing them. Now web-based, firstly there is no installation and if you check on installed you need to install. Web-based has no updates or needs no updates but installed applications would need updates. Web-based does not take space from your hard disk but installed would obviously need some space from your hard disk. They are easy to share because they are online but your installed ones they are not easy to share. There's no need for making backups because the data is obviously online and you would obviously assume that there is backup and then your installed applications you obviously need to have some backup. Now comparing these two again based on disadvantages. Now your web-based need internet but your installed there's no need for internet. Web-based there's no control of software upgrade so it means if the company chooses to change the software and upgrade the software, you have no control over that. But with installed, you choose when you want to upgrade. So you have full control of software upgrade. The company can shut down. It means that you won't have access to the software anymore. But with your installed, you can change your software at any time. Now there's no privacy because some of the owners of the companies can browse or stole, uh, stalkers or hackers can be able to access your data and with your installed there's at least privacy. Now moving on to systems requirements. Now what is system requirements? System requirements are important to know so that you can know in which hardware will your software be able to run on. Now, system properties on your computer need to match and be better than the system requirements of your software. Now, what is it that you need to know? You need to know at least how much hard disk space is needed for this installation of this software. And you need to know the memory that is required to run the application. And lastly, you need to know the processing speed that is required. Then we move on to some problems that you can experience with your software. So you're just going to look at one basic um, problem at a time. Now, some common problems would be obviously due to different reasons, such as errors in the software or whenever there's a need for upgrades. Now to solve these problems you need to make sure that you buy the latest versions, patches and you always upgrade your software in order to fix 
all of these problems. Now, some of these could obviously be security issues. And once you are able to upgrade your software, these security issues can be fixed. Now, if you again buy new versions as well as patches, you know that your bugs of that software will be fixed. Again, if you upgrade your software, it allows you to do what? To get the latest features of the software that is available. Now, whenever you work with software, it is very possible to obtain and install software patches as well as software updates. Now, sometimes you can experience problems with files not allowing you to save or making changes. Now, this is what you can do. You can try to check if the file is not a read-only file. You check if the file is not on a shared location with restrictions. And if the file is from a CD, you make sure that you copy the file and then you enable the editing option. Then we're going to move on to some risks of using flawed software. Now, whenever you use flawed software, you can obviously experience some risks. Now, these risks can compromise the security of your system. They can cause errors in the system and they can lead to data loss and hardware failure. Now, whenever you use software, it depends on the type of software that you use. Now, the type of software that causes all of the software problems can be, for example, your freeware as well as your shareware software. It's always recommended that you try and use proprietary software all the time. Now, other software is written for businesses or government, and that means if that software is faulty, it can lead to errors and data loss as well as some loss in terms of business production. That is all for our lesson today. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.